Hello, hello, hello everyone. This is I Review the Gods, where we review any and everything. Today we are reviewing Kite Heels Protein Vanilla Yogurt. And as always, say hello to the pretty birdie, the Inca turn playing peekaboo with you. I'm gonna go back and forth. Make him disappear. Boom. He played peekaboo with you. Okay. Now for the background, we have these five things that will always be here to remember and to remind everyone that they need to look at the reviews for these, especially the Ketophile, the Avino, and the Nivea brands there. They will always be back here, this box. You need to understand that it represents, you know, nine or eight of the top ten allergens that we all eat. Everything has side effects. This includes greens, too many greens, fiber issues, too many bananas, potassium issues, too much oranges give you an orange complexion, and so forth and so forth. Everything has a side effect. Remember that do not believe when someone tells you that there is no side effects. Everything has a side effect. All right, now moving forward, this is Kite Heels Protein Vanilla Yogurt. Now, this yogurt is got some weight on it when you pick it up. You know, you pick up other yogurt is light because I mean light because this has protein in it. This is heavier. You pick it up, you're like, whoa, do a little workout with this uh with this protein right here. So. This has some weight in it because it has protein in it. I mean, regular yogurt has small amounts, but this is like 11 grams, I think, per serving. So, it's pretty heavy. All right, so, I'm going to look at it here. Vanilla plant-based yogurt, cultured almond milk, non-GMO soy protein, live cultures, sugar, plant protein, dairy-free, Perishable, please refrigerate. And it says two and a half servings is 16 ounces here. And I'm gonna let you play peekaboo with the birdie here while I read the nutritional facts. It says per serving, of course, they do have the total here, but you're always supposed to do it per serving. And pay attention, people just grab stuff and and say, oh, it just has this in it. No, that's per serving. That's per. And it's two servings, three servings in that juice. And you just drank all three of them. So you need to multiply that times three. That's a different story. But yeah. So this one has seven grams of fat. 2.5 grams of saturated fat. No trans fat. Sodium, nine D5 milligrams. Sorry, fly. He's, yeah. All right. Total carbs, 12. Dietary fibers, 1. Total sugars, 6. Added sugars, 5. Protein, 11. So, 12 grams of carbs per serving. 11 grams of protein per serving. So, that's pretty, pretty sweet there. I'm trying to see where it says the actual ingredients here. It's made with soy and almond. Oh, ingredients, almond milk. Soy protein, coconut cream, starch, sugar cane, fava bean protein, natural flavors, lotus bean gum, yeast extract, extreme gum, vanilla bean, stevia, live cultures, contains almonds and soy. See, the only downside of this is that it has soy in it. That's the protein they use. It would be nice if they use rice or, <clears throat> or you know pea protein but it's non gmo soy which is very very hard to find because most of your soy that you eat and have is gmo on top of that soy produces estrogen in your body and you don't want it to be a gmo source because they man you need to see what they do when they gmo a plant and how they manipulate it and Especially for it to turn on its defense receptors, which is basically secreting insect poison to keep it off of it. And 
they're secreting that at all times and that's in our food that's what we eat because they turned it on 100 percent in the plant and human beings and the things we do for money so you got to be careful of eating certain things and then another thing they try to trick you with when they say organic everything certain things they don't put pesticides on it and they're not gmo so you don't even have to put that but i mean it's just more for marketing purposes and for the person on the other side to make them feel better that this is organic there's a lot of things in the world that does not need spraying because the animal the bug or whatever cannot get to the fruit or what's in it so they don't need to spray it so it doesn't there is no non organic way to grow it but that's what they do for reinsurance and for price so yeah this yogurt it's actually good it has protein in it but like i said the downside it it has soy protein the good side of the soy protein is non-gmo but it's still soy if you're a man you don't want to put a lot of soy pretty much any if you can in your body but I brought it, you know, just to try it out. I used the, there's a review about the other yogurt, the Forgers, that I eat more than this one. Well, I mean, that's the one I eat. This was a try-in right here. If they ever substitute the protein for something else, I would definitely mix them up. I'll buy this one one week, buy that one the next week. Well, I'll have to buy two because this isn't enough servings for me to to eat throughout the week i'll have to buy two of these and i think that this is five dollars just like the other one so that might be a little bit difficult for me i mean i like to keep my daily meals of how much i spend under five dollars i do really like to do that if it exceeds that i have a problem so I like to keep my meals under five dollars and buying two of these will will probably still be the same still be under five dollars so if they ever substitute that protein i'll buy later 